Hey guys, David HD Trucks and Equip right here in fabulous Henderson, Tennessee. And you know, we get these in once in a great while, but this one here, this is like the grand puba of all of the ones we've ever had. This is a 2016 Peterbilt 337, and it's got the snap-on tool body on back, the exhibition body for when they were demonstrating all of their very, very expensive uh, toolboxes and their high-end equipment. This is the truck that they would take along to events and all that kind of good stuff, and holy mackerel. This is just absolutely unbelievable. Paint on it is good. It's just a shiny, shiny, clean machine. It's a 2016, hey, living under that hood right there is the uh, Packard uh, 6, uh, 6 7 or the Packard 7, I guess they refer to it as. And it's backed up by an automatic transmission and the body on back is done by Marion. So to start with, I'm just gonna do a quick little walk around. We're gonna have to do a couple of videos on this because they're just way, way, way too much to show you. As an example, underneath this little compartment right here, you gotta pull kind of hard to get it up because it's got those hydraulic shuts. Oh my goodness, look at there. A nice old Cummins commercial QD, the little quiet diesel. And look at there, there's the tag on it right there if you're keeping score at home. So such a, such a nice, nice, super little piece right there, 120 volt, of course. 7.5 kilowatt, I think is what that is. Looks like it's got a Kubota motor in it. That's kind of cool. And of course, hopefully you notice how clean that was inside there. And it's got alloy wheels all the way around on it. It's got little LED lighting all the way around on it. This has a tremendous lift gate on back. So this little section right here, you just pull out that pin. That flops down makes a ramp. So if you want to run a motorcycle or something in there, you can. These here, you can flop those in, and then that kind of helps you if you're rolling a, a pallet jack or something so it doesn't wander on you. And of course, all LED lighting on back. Nice, nice, nice. Notice the uh, backup camera on top there. And this is the aluminum, of course, so you're never gonna have any issues with that. Here's your control for it right here, okay? And this is removable, you unplug that right there and you take it inside with you, then you don't have to worry about some kids getting their fingers in the wrong place. Check this out. And when you do this, you gotta kinda keep in mind, you don't want your foot in the wrong place, right? So you put that there until it just catches. And if you watch what it's doing, that's gonna tilt that up now. Okay, very simple. You just keep going until that gets up there. And then you got these pins here that you can shove through there as a safety so that they don't fall down when you're not, uh, you know, when you're going down the road. And again, you just unplug this here and you take this with you. And that way there, you don't have to worry about anybody getting in it and uh, doing anything that they shouldn't be. I uh, can't say I've even looked underneath this one here on this one. I think it's going to be just storage. Look at the floor. Man, I tell you what, look at, look at the whole condition. Look at this thing. You guys up north, you don't know what rust-free looks like, and I'm always trying to show you. You know what? If you want a nice truck, you, you just have to step up sometimes and, and pay the piper, right? So this is an electronic little thing, little controlled uh, step that you just push a button up front and it goes in and out. And you've got the whole entrance system right here. I'll get to that in a separate video. Inside here, are the auxiliary uh, deep cycle batteries. Nice and clean, straight, all that kind of good stuff. That way there, if you don't want to run the gen set, if you're only going to be someplace for just a little bit, you can just run off the batteries. And if you're going to be there for a long time and you don't want to uh, run the generator, you have an RV plug right there for power. So you can plug that into a land source, I guess, or whatever they call that. This is a nice little 50 gallon uh, aluminum fuel tank. I love Pete. I like that. That's very handy. Got the nice mirrors on it, all that kind of good stuff. You got the overhead mirror right there. I guess you can make sure you got your fuel cap on that way. And of course, it is clean, clean, clean. Unbelievably clean. This thing is such a beauty queen. It's amazing. 
There's your GVW by the box manufacturer, 26,000 pound GVW. So it is a non-CDO truck. As they say underneath there is a Packard 7 motor. And I tell you, you gotta love Pete. Look at that beautiful front end. It's got the nice pseudo chrome uh, visor on top. You got the air deflector to help you with the fuel economy. An absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous truck. I'm gonna just show you the cab on this video and then we'll go inside and show you the rest. So there's your power locks, power windows, and you got all kinds of controls. You can hook a microphone up to the sound system if you want to. There's your headlights. I'm just gonna turn those, all that headlights and flashes off now so I don't forget. There's your tilt wheel, delay wipers, of course. Nice little sound system. The sound system is in the cab, it's in the box, and it's on the outside speakers. You've got a control right here for external speakers. Then you got your regen, um, the electric step I was telling you about. Now it's in, now it's out. Overhead lights inside the box. Air brakes, CD player, backup camera. There's your uh, cruise control. No diagnostics on it. Look at this, 85,000 miles. 35, we'll call it 3,600 hours. This thing has hardly been used. This is a peak. This thing is, this thing's a 600,000 mile machine before you open the cover on it, I think is what they tell me. Anyway, air brakes, air ride seat, armrests on the driver's seat, driver's side's air ride. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the condition. Look at even the frame down there, it's unbelievable. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get inside the box. There's a lot of stuff to show you inside there as well. Once again, David, HD Trucks and Equip in Henderson, Tennessee. And this is a 2016 Peterbilt Snap-on Exhibition truck. And I'll be right back on the inside. Hi, it's Dave at HD Trucks and Equip in Henderson, Tennessee, looking at that 2016 Snap-on Exhibition truck again. And if you can hear that sound system, it's not up very loud, guys. I'm going to shut it off just so it doesn't interfere with the uh, audio that I'm telling you about. The reason why it sounds so good, oh my gosh, amplifiers, you name it, it's got it. There's your receiver for the wireless microphone. It's amazing. You've got everything here that you want. And again, there's a switch right here for you to turn on outside speakers. And I'm just going to turn this way down. There we go. <clears throat> I love it. Monogram seats. Peterbilt, right? Very proud. They do it. They, they do a super, super fantastic job. Looky, looky inside here. All kinds of... Uh, uh, inverters right there for extra power so if you're not using the gen set you you have a backup supply there as well you have a panel right here and this panel is where you start and stop the generator if you're running a generator you flip on this breaker if you're gonna run the shore power you flip that down this little thing slides over and then you'll raise up this one and then here you can say okay this is what I want hooked up so right now I just have everything on because I want to be able to see what all works, which is pretty much everything. The electric lock, that is, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, I'll show it to you in a little bit down there. There's an electronic lock that uh, you can uh, secure that door so nobody can get in it because these guys carry thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment in these things. So you've got little storage cabinets here and you got little uh, little drawers. Oh, look at this. You never get this. There you go. There's the information on the on the body. Just the body, the lift gate, the air conditioning, the serious sound system. You name it, it's right there. And it even has the uh, wireless microphone for the audio system. So if you want to do a karaoke uh, night one time, you can. Uh, oh, look at there. There's a... Uh, Probably the batteries are probably dead. I'm guessing that goes with that flat screen TV way over there. <clears throat> Here's more manuals, got everything. Got everything you'll ever need. And these are little slots that you can move stuff around, put them wherever you want them. 
You got things up here. I'm thinking that that's probably stainless steel. It's probably magnetic. You can take a magnet and you can hold stuff up there. They got those all over. Here's your additional speakers on the front of it. There's matching speakers on the back. There's uh, little electric fans to move around. This is incredible. Front and rear working AC. Unbelievable. You got an exhaust fan right here as well. We don't really need to have that on. Uh, oh, I see, you gotta turn it off right here probably. Okay. Another air conditioning unit back here. Yep, nice and cold, just the way it's supposed to be. Look at all the LED lighting. Super, super nice. Here's flat screen TV, it's plugged in. Honestly, I haven't got it to do anything. I don't even know if this is the right remote for it. I just saw that other remote over there may need batteries, who knows. There's another exhaust fan right there. There's your other speakers for in back. All kinds of stuff. There is, so here's a little laptop holder right here with a 12 volt power supply. You got so much stuff here, boy, that air feels good today. You got everything here that you need. Entrance lights, you name it, you got it. Probably have to open this from the outside. Yep, okay. So <clears throat> when you just open this up, it's just a dual door opens up like that right there. And then that's your door opening from there to there. So if you get motorcycles, you can get those in here. It looks like you could probably run a pallet jack through there. <clears throat> Such a nice piece. Floor is extremely well done. There's 120 outlets all over the place. Such an incredible machine. Uh, the ideas are endless with this. You want to make yourself a little RV, here you go. You want to make yourself a, a route where you can show your stuff that you're selling and be the best guy on the block, here you go. You want to go to conventions, here you go. You want to go to the track and, and uh, pull your car, your race car. You want to put motorcycles in here. You can do almost anything you want with this. And it is so clean. I just can't tell you. It's so clean. I'm going to warn you. This here, when you step through this, I'm six foot tall. So every time I hit that, it doesn't move at all. So be careful for that. I don't know why they pad this, but they don't pad that. Anyway, such an absolutely, extremely beautiful truck. Can't say enough about it. I can't think of an option. We've, we've sold several of these trucks and I have never had one with this many options on it before. It's unbelievable. Here's a switch to turn those batteries on and off. It's just incredible. Such a beautiful, beautiful truck. 2016 Peterbilt 337. Doesn't get much better than that. Packard motor, automatic transmission, and Peterbilt all the way. What a gorgeous truck. A gorgeous truck that makes sense. Hey, if you can use this truck, you give me a call. My personal cell phone number is 602-510-5444. And as always, I greatly appreciate you looking.